What's up guys, the April Patreon rewards are now available. Armageddon, Teferi Time Reveler, and Nekusar the Mind Razor are all available through the end of the month. If you'd like to support our channel and pick up these sweet proxies, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves or clicking the link in the description below. What's up guys, welcome to part two uh, with this Menace Tribal deck. Unfortunately in the first video, uh, we did not have the best of luck. So I'm hoping we can uh, get at least one or two wins with this deck in this video. Uh, if you did miss the first episode, uh, definitely recommend checking that out. We go through the deck a little bit more in detail so you can kind of see why we picked what we picked, that kind of stuff. So uh, let's go and see, this is why I don't love having the temples in the deck. Um, I don't think we can keep this hand. It has nothing until turn three. This is much more my speed. And I honestly think because we have the other one, I think it's just an easy one, two, three. Um, we'll see if it actually plays out that way. It very much depends what we are against. Uh, this deck is interesting. I have seen this one uh, a bit. Don't know if we have a great advantage. We're faster for sure, but this deck does some really broken stuff. Just play this out there, develop our board a little bit, and we will pass. They do get to swing. Well, they can swing in. We could trade here, though. That's obviously pretty much not good. Um, okay, so what do we want to do? Mm -hmm. Debating whether to just play this or just kind of swing in and see what they do. And then we can Heartless Axe something. I want a bone crusher giant this just so they can't block this one. If they want to block here, that's fine. And then we get to drill bit. Get rid of that just so they can't keep bouncing stuff. That's very, very annoying. <clears throat> this card's very good, but we have Heartless Act in our hands, so I don't care that much about it, to be very frank. Um, sure. Uh, let's Heartless Act. I'm going to do it here just so they can't block the Knight, and we can get that swing in as well. We'll just go ahead and pump this up. That does give us a counter on the knight, which is great. Um, and now they're a little bit further again away from from the cyber claw terror. This card is stupid, absolutely stupid. It's awesome. Um, next turn, you know, depending on what we draw, um, we could just keep committing a little bit more to the board. Um, sure. Very, very good. Wow, this is cool. Okay. This is a deck I need to try. This is really sweet. Man, they just keep doing this. So they spark double and they get to just do it again. This is really, really cool. I have not seen this deck truly go off. Um, that's amazing. That's really cool. Okay, well, I'm going to say we probably just lose. I don't think there's anything we can do here, uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and concede. We can't deal 11 damage to him. Uh, there is no way. So well done on the opponent. That was 
awesome. That was really, really cool. Love that. Um, definitely going to be building that deck. We might do that over the uh, Sultai, um, whatchamacallit, uh, Mutate deck, which I was considering doing next, but I think that might be a lot better, or at least more interesting. Uh, let's see. Nope. Ugh, guys. I am not loving this as much as the uh, the Sacrifice deck that we played, which was also Rakdos, um, but I think definitely much more be much better and much more consistent. Uh, let's do this. We've already got some removal here. What we do next turn is going to be really interesting, maybe. Um... Hmm. I'm gonna kill that. Yeah, I know it's only a 1-3, um, but I think that's a problematic card long-term that I don't want to have to deal with. <laughs> this card's really funny. We talked about this uh, at one point. It's very, very silly. Um... What has protection, doesn't it? Whoops. Protection from odd. Sorry. I, I thought they said even. My mistake. Um, yep. Hmm. We're in bad shape, essentially. Um, this giving random protection is like way better than I initially thought. Not gonna lie. Um, obviously, doesn't have protection from this, but like, you know. Huh. They're gonna fight this, I take it. Pelucranos is very cool. I love new Pelucranos. That's from Theros, not obviously from Akoria, but it's really sweet. A bit of an underrated card, in my opinion. Sure. Hmm. Smart. Oops. Okay. Uh, no blocks. Wish we had gotten an untapped land. That would have been helpful. Mm hmm. I hate to say it, guys. I feel like this deck just sucks. <laughs> not gonna lie. This does not seem very good. I'm gonna pass here. Um, only so we can leave up like a, a weird like bone crusher kind of maneuver. Yeah, we could have played this out too, I suppose, but I don't think it's gonna matter too much. Ugh. Nope, nope. Not into this. Here, I'm sure they're gonna fight. Oh, nope, they're gonna Nissa. Okay, well, that's very good. Mm-mm. Abzan, good stuff. It's a cool card. Yep. Mm. Oops. Well, okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and concede. There's no way we win this. Ugh, that was terrible. Um, this deck kind of sucks, guys. Not gonna lie. Um, I had high hopes for it, but I just don't think it's good enough. 
Uh, two losses so far. Let's go ahead and go for the last game. This is going to be a quick video, I have a feeling. Um, really more excited to try that first deck we were up against. That was a sweet one. Um, I mean, we'll keep it. We can Bone Crush or something, hopefully, and then Drill Bit if we need to. We'll see. We will see. It just seems like a very slow version of, uh, of an, uh, like, it's a very slow trying to be aggro deck, and that doesn't sound, that's not right. <laughs> it's very bad. Uh, yep, do it. Also, yes, I know, misplays on that second, or that, uh, last game there. I know, there was no way we were going to win it, so I, I kind of played pretty loose at the end there. That is an interesting card. Um, let's get Labyrinth Raptor out there. I don't know what this deck is looking to do. I'm interested to see. They can probably kill this, if I had to guess. Okay, they run away Steamkin, that's fine. Well. Do that. Let's drill bit. I mean, we got to take that, I think. They don't have land, though, which is kind of bad for them. Um, I think we do have to take that, though. That's just a really good card. Uh, I'm going to cancel. I'm going to wait. Um, See what they do here. If they play like another runaway steamkin to pump this one up, then I can just shock and re or a uh, bone crusher in response. I'm gonna take this one just to see. Maybe they respond with something here. Okay, maybe not actually, because then they can't do this. I wasn't thinking 100%, but before damage, I'm gonna do this. That, this way, by the way, they can't light up the stage this turn. Um, and it looks like they're stuck on land, so I'm going to do my best to keep them stuck on land. Uh, here they may just run out the second Steamkin. I feel like that's probably the play. Um, yeah, sure. Makes sense. No land for us either. Um, that's not the worst thing in the world for us, but that, you know, is a thing. Uh, let's see. While we know this is going to stick, let's just do this. Uh, that also keeps them from, I think, spectacling this. Wow, cool card. Can give it death touch. <laughs> um, they're still stuck on land, so I kind of have to continue this train. I uh, feel a little bad about it, but if this is able to do any damage to us, then they light up the stage, and then they all of a sudden have more plays. Um, so we're chipping away slow, but we're we're chipping away. <laughs> we'll see if it actually works. Probably not. Yeah, there we go. They don't have anything to put Death Touch on, so now's a great time. Not to mention it's just a 4-5, so it's going to be difficult for them to just burn out. <clears throat> In fact, this even takes down Bone Crusher Giant. This matches up very well against Bone Crusher Giant. I like that. There they go. I'm sure they get a land in the top three here. Or not. Hmm. Okay. Alright, we won one. Yay. That was really bad on the opponent's side, though. I feel bad. They just had no land. I mean, we kept them from getting land, sure, but, like, they apparently didn't have any in the top half of their deck, so... 
guys, at least we won one. I didn't love this deck, if I'm going to be honest. It was not my favorite. Uh, however, it is still worth kind of trying out. I think there might be some variants and some flex slots here that you can kind of try out some different stuff and see if it's worth it. Menace is a great mechanic, so I do encourage, you know, we do have the Lord, quote unquote, um, for it, which is really, really cool. I just don't know if it's good enough in this standard environment. Uh, there are a lot faster decks out there. We saw a few of them through these videos. So uh, let me know your thoughts. I, I, I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence with this one, but let me know if you like this deck. If you didn't, that's fine too. Uh, I know I will get told I misplayed a lot. I did. I know that. That's fine. Uh, but regardless, I do hope you guys enjoy this video. And again, thank you so much for all the support recently. We certainly do appreciate it. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I will see you in the next gameplay video.